This is Laos. Laos is a landlocked country located in Southeast Asia, bordered by China, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Myanmar. Why am I making a video about Laos? In this video, I will be talking about Laos's history and how overlooked it has been. This topic is something especially important to me because my family came from Laos. My dad was born there and it's such an important part of my family's background and so many other families that came from Laos. I'm going to start in the 1950s with the Vietnam War. A lot of people know about the Vietnam War, but not a lot of them know about the conflict that went on in surrounding countries, like Laos. This is the Secret War. Before the Secret War, Laos was a kingdom, but it was occupied or colonized by France, France and Japan, 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 then France, France again, 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 again. This went on 1893 till 1954. A big reason for this is because of the Mekong River that bordered Laos, being a valuable trade route throughout Southeast Asia. Laos finally gained full independence in 1954, right before the Vietnam War. Right after gaining independence, Pathet Lao, a communist nationalist group or insurgency, started to gain popularity. Pathet Lao was founded at Viet Minh headquarters and they were very reliant on Vietnamese aid. Viet Minh was a communist front organization resisting French rule and Japanese occupation. Throughout the Vietnamese War, Pathet Lao seized more power across Laos. In the 1960s, the U.S. then decided to drop the equivalent of a plane load of bombs every 8 minutes for 24 hours a day for 9 years on Laos to cut off communist supply routes between Laos and Vietnam, suggesting it was the safest approach. This safe approach killed thousands of innocent people and devastated the entire country. Communist forces continued to advance throughout Laos, but then on January 27th, 1973, the Paris Peace Accord was signed. The Paris Peace Accord was an agreement between South Vietnam, North Vietnam, and the USA. This agreement established a ceasefire where the US would withdraw from combat and leave Vietnam, while both North and South Vietnam would try to peacefully reunify. Anyways, this ended the USA's involvement in Vietnam. Right around this time, the Viet Sun Agreement was signed, which also called for another ceasefire between left and right forces in Laos. This ended up dividing the royalists and the communists. Eventually, most right-wing forces and leaders were despaired and fled from Laos. This authorized the unmerciful takeover by the Lao communists. It was declared the end of Laos's 600-year monarchy on December 2nd, 1975. That was not the actual end, though. Lao intellectuals, civil servants, teachers, police officers, high-level officials, and suspected royalist sympathizers were put into seminar or re-education camps. In these camps, people had to undergo forced labor, oppression, torture, political indoctrination, and much more. In other words, if they believed you even had the ability or power to conspire against them, you would be sent to a camp. By the late 1980s, these camps were finally shut down. By the end of the damage done by the US, 200,000 civilians and military members were dead, twice as many wounded, 750,000 had become refugees. 30% of the bombs in Laos failed to explode upon impact. 20,000 people had been killed or wounded by about 80 million bombs left behind. So the US's bombings on Laos still continue to kill till this day. I cannot even begin to imagine the amount of people that continue to be killed when they were sent to camps or caught escaping during the communist takeover. Laos is known officially as the most bombed nation on earth. My father was born in Laos during the 1970s. My great grandfather built roads for the government and owned land as big as the town of Stafford my family described it. My aunt's father had been taken and placed in a seminar camp and my family had to flee in fear that my great-grandfather would be taken too. They left Laos with every valuable thing they had and crossed the Mekong River into Thailand. When they crossed, they found monks on the other side that helped them and they got into the refugee camp in Thailand. When getting into the camp, they had everything that they had taken away from them. They had to live in this refugee camp for almost a year before they were finally relocated to America. My family came to this country with quite literally nothing and had to start all over again after losing everything they had. My father tells me so many stories about his childhood and how he struggled growing up. But with the struggle, this helped him grow as a person. My father is the hardest working person I've ever met and has his entire life to show for it. 
Till this day, Laos is under communist rule. The aftermath of the war still directly impacts the people and nation of Laos. Now there is work on digging up and deactivating these bombs, and Laos is still continuously rebuilding from these impacts. <laughs> Bạn